I got a new car. Yardage! 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 I spent $25,000 on my new car. Wow, dude. That's nice. We're in the Avalon. Uh, the key fob doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, I can't feel anything. I've been a Camry owner, I've been loyal to Toyota, to Toyota for years, but I think I deserve a bit better, so I bought the Avalon. Okay, alright boys, girls get out. Hold up, I'm still DJing. This is my first time driving the Avalon, we're in here, and you know what? Glaring thing, $25,000 for this 65,000 mile 2011 example. And my steering wheel's cold. And I have no way to heat it up, but with my hands. Okay. All right, folks. Oh, man. I'm your host, David Blue. And my steering wheel is not heated. I give up. Well, the steering is appropriately light. So what is the Avalon? You made the argument for a long time that people that buy Toyota Avalons are a very unique type of person. It's, it's starting to come in. It's a very odd type of person because buying a, an Avalon new, you're actually spending Lexus money. And for being in here a limited time that I have, this is not worth Lexus money. There's too much road noise. The steering is appropriately light. Oh, look at that. That it is appropriately light. The wood, I'm pretty sure, is real. Is this the sheath? Is this the sheath to your being? It's kind of like, okay, you you sheathed your sword and you'll never pull it out again. Hey, at least you got a sunroof. When you're driving to work and you don't see the sun because it's 5 a.m. and you're going to shelter insurance, it's like, hey, you know, I, I, I can experience the sun. I can have, you know, there it is. Soul, the source of all life. Soul. Please help me. The engine note, at least, is not made in the cabin. I like the way the transmission is shifting. It's sufficiently luxurious. Response to bumps is good. I just am not satisfied with the road noise. Um, but it's, you know, it's sufficiently, I still wouldn't buy it. Well, I mean, like you said, why would you buy it? You're spending Lexus money. For Lexus, your ride would be a lot smoother. Your sound system would be a lot better. Your ride, you know, you would be a lot more comfortable. That is worthy of note. The sound system is a lot worse than I would have imagined with money. But I said, uh, basically, this is just like, it's like aspiring to be Volvo, but without the quirk, which is sort of the whole worth. But you got the same sort of aesthetic going on, but with darker wood. It's tacky as shit. I don't, like, it's like a Volvo, but for religious people. You know? Mormon Bible right there inside. Yeah, the it's for Mormons. It's like a Volvo, but for Mormons. Okay. Alright. Fast Avalon. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a good response. You know, one thing I do like, I do kind of like how simple the nav is. Yeah. That is one thing it's got for it, going for it. That's accurate, to a degree. That's about, yeah, we're there. No, but like if if you zoom in a bit, like it'll zoom in right to the street, and like I was in the middle of fucking nowhere, like on some like back road ass like highway, and it still knew where I was. Uh, good Avalon. Well, of course you would. You gotta know where you're at when you're like, lost. And I'm stealing a bit from regular car reviews, but, you know, as an Avalon driver, I know what the barometric pressure is at any given time. I can tell you right now that the average barometric pressure uh, in Columbia, Missouri is 29.92 HG. That's actually not a joke, like, that's true. But that's because I'm an aviation nerd. This is for aviation nerds. In other words, the least tolerable people on the planet drive Toyota Avalons. I've got a self-help thing. It's like Steve Jobs, but religious Steve Jobs. It's funny that religion is like a universal, like, you can't, because you'd buy a Lexus, right? You're, you know, believers buy Toyotas. 
No, it's got adequate torque and power. And it's quiet, too. I respect that. I don't know why it has that, but it does. Ooh, you can control the temperature from here. Oh, that's very good. I like that. I wish I had that in my Jag. Yelling. All right. This isn't really Toyota Avalon music. Yo, bro, you got that Avalon money? Yeah? Um, but instead, I'm able to buy a Quattroporte. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I keep mistaking myself for Kimi Raikkonen. You know, I, I really like, I mean, it's confident. It's, it's, it's refined, but of course it would be, right? It's a Toyota. It's refined, but it's not extravagant. It's competent, but it's not extraordinary. It's it's like driving a base 3 Series or a base I wouldn't, Mercedes. I wouldn't... That's too much of a compliment. I wouldn't say it's like... Because a 3 Series is going to be a lot it, it, more okay. communicative than okay. this. Okay, it's like driving a loaded Ford. Yeah. It is. I mean, let me just say... The Impala is a competitor to this. I drove a new Impala, um, and I like this better than the Impala, right off the bat. Honk episode four, beat that. Because um, it just feels a little bit more put together, a little bit less American. These dials remind me a lot of the RX330. And it also reminds me, like, because the logo's right here, the dial's right there. The, so you're reminded, why don't I have an RX-330 instead of this? But you know, like this, actually, this manual shifter is solid and stuff. I mean, it's very delayed, but it should be, right? All right, it's the skid pad. This is it. Please don't. Oh no, I'm not going any faster than this. This is it. This is the whole test. Because if I was testing my XJR, this would be the test, right? Yeah. Alright. I mean, it's very solid. I like that about it. I mean, okay, so if you're considering buying an Apala, don't. Was that, that was my message. You know, buy a cadenza instead and, and maybe a vacation. Or if you hate vacations, which you would if you're considering an Avalon. You know, then uh, buy a sweet Avalon. I guess buy an extra room for your house for your kids. Yeah. Buy a new help self help C D. Get a Fiesta ST instead. That's too interesting. Yeah, it's too loud. Um Look, this is comfortable. I mean, I'm genuinely comfortable right now. I'm comfortable, competent absorption of the bumps. Uh, light steering. The equation is there. The, the luxury equation is there. The problem is, like, the aspiration isn't. Like, it's well engineered, but that's not enough. Luxury is an attitude, and it's an attitude that Toyota should never understand, doesn't understand, don't expect them to understand, and they shouldn't expect themselves to understand. But, it's just, I can't think of a car, because like, a Toyota Camry is respectable, because obviously, all you want is an A to B, right? The new United States Embassy. But, somewhere in Georgia, you like want a Toyota Camry that's got wood in it. I saw 30 bitches in 30 rooms and I was on the wrong side of the house. Actually, you can get one of its way to camera right now. Uh, this guy get throttle response. It should. You know, that's the throttle, throttle response you get when you're trying to merge on the highway, not when you're trying to go somewhere. Yeah, it's just dull, numb, numbness, just ultimate numbness. It's like the Vicodin cars. That is perfect. That's better than I, better than everything I've ever said. I 
accent as far as uh, it's fucking Vicodin. Automotive Vicodin. Just, I feel no pain. I feel no joy. Help me, Lord. I don't want to feel any joy anymore. I feel nothing. I'm ready to go. Divorce, 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 divorce. <laughs> stress, stress, stress management. Light pollution, light pollution, light pollution, light pollution, light pollution, light pollution. I'm scared of the dark! I'm scared of the dark! I bought a Toyota Avalon. I'm not scared anymore. I'm scared of the dark! I'm scared! Alright, here's the, the ultimate test. Uh, this is the classic family test. Oh boy. Mike it in. I knocked it in neutral. It wants to be in neutral. It does want to be. Wow. That's insightful too. <laughs> the only car I've ever driven that just wants to be in neutral all the time. White lives matter. But I wouldn't say that. I don't go on Twitter and say that. You say that on Facebook. Or nobody knows you're there. <laughs> White lives matter. This shrimp curry matters. I'm having an emergency! I'm having an emergency! I'm having an Avalon emergency! Where are the police? Where are the police? I got, my, I got a new car. <laughs> You know what? I was wrong. The Avalon owner doesn't have kids because they couldn't. They wanted to have kids, but they couldn't do it and they waited too long. And he's come to accept that. And he's replaced his kids with the, the potential kids that he would have had with a brand new Mac Pro. Or iMac, iPad Pro. But, but why didn't he buy the Benz? Because that is too vulgar. Toyota makes the Camry. Toyota makes the Camry. I have an inflamed uvula right now. <sighs> Toyota Avula, uh, Avalon, uvulitis, uvulitis. Fuck! There's nothing there. It's a metaphor for my life! Where's the joy? Where's the joy? Ah! I stalled it. I stalled it because I asked it for joy. It's too much to ask, Kelly. It's too much to ask for a little butt action now and then. It's too much to ask. I have uvulitis. Help me. I wanted... Just a few things in life, okay? I just wanted a few things. I wanted to feel safe. I wanted leather seats. I wanted a wood grain steering wheel. I wanted navigation. That's all I wanted. But I forgot about everything else. I forgot that Bentley was here. I forgot. I forgot Mercedes was here. I, you know what? I grew, look. I'm deserving, but I maybe not deserving, but I'm deserving, but I hate myself for being deserving, so I bought a Toyota Avalon. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. I think that I'll just end it all. I can't believe I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm facing every day, every new day. Every day's a new day. Every day's a new day. Please help me, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly. Kelly is what matters. Kelly is what matters. Kelly is what matters. I don't have any kids. We could have had kids. I don't have any kids. Kelly's what matters. I just feel like I can't see through the fog. Are there fog lights? Are there fog lights? Did I not spec the fog lights? So I can't live my life with purpose? I can't see the goal, I can't see the end goal. I need more CDs. I need more CDs. I don't have enough CDs, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Toyota Avalon, Toyota Avalon. Only 4.2.
more CDs. You could have a Mitsubishi Eclipse and have more CDs. If you're listening to the weekend and you're you're regretting your decision. I didn't want to be this, mom. You're happy for me, but I I can't be happy for myself because what I've done is thrown away what I was given. I've thrown away everything of substance that I was given, and I've become a ghost. I am a spirit walking. I am a spirit driving. Boy, I love Christmas. It's fucking Monday. Put on your Monday faces, everybody. Put on your Monday faces. I haven't had my morning coffee yet. Where are the airbags, huh? Huh? I haven't had my morning coffee yet. Don't talk to me. Scary. The steering is light. Just like the frivolousness of my life. Just like my life, I can change direction so easily. Toyota Avalon. For those who have lost the ultimate purpose, I am here floating through the world like a ghost. I am a wraith. But I'm having a good day. For a Monday. Boy! For a Monday. Things are going great. It's Monday. 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 Monday's ahead. Just, even, okay, the string is light, but I can't steer away. You know, I can't avoid it. I can't avoid it. I can't avoid the office. I, I just... That's all I have left. If I keep going, if I keep doing everything I... If I keep... If I stay in the routine, then I'll never, ever have to feel pain again. You'll never have to leave. It's always there. I'll never have to feel pain again. I can't feel pain! Ha! I can't feel pain! Terry. Ted. Chris. Edgar. It's Keith. It's okay. You you might get a raise someday. Hey, it's Keith. Yo, are you still down to watch Game of Thrones tonight, bro? Yeah, bro. No spoilers. 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 Bro, bro, calm down. Tell me your NFL fantasy draft picks. Hang on a second. We got my phone. Ah! Ah! You are my phone. Keith went on a carnival cruise, bitch. Keith and Kelly hitting up that carnival carnival cruise. Woo. We did everything we were supposed to do because we always do that. Thank God, a vacation where I can do everything I'm supposed to do, where I'm rewarded for doing everything I'm supposed to do. I did everything I'm supposed to do and I'm not happy. Please don't hit the car. Sorry, I won't break the car. Even if it's not yours, I've got to sell it. I know. I won't, I won't. Praise the Toyota. Kiss <laughs> that. Rub it harder. All the sweet spots. <laughs> I like the emblem. <laughs> Man, does this have a car? Does this car have a defibrillator? Because I've been dead for 20 years. Keith here. Yo, 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 y
Yardage, 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 yardage. Hey, it's Keith. The weekend. Drake. Bro, it's Keith here, and you know, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to come over and play apples to apples. No, dude. Bro, it, this ain't 2012, man. Cards against humanity. But I like apples to apples. Well, Keith, you haven't progressed since 2012. Why would I? 2012 was a great year. Well, you know what, Keith? Times have changed. You know, I've got- Where's the gun? <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just enjoy things, you know, I, uh, I just enjoy things like, I enjoy television, really, you know, I, uh, I love classic games and I just emulate sometimes, I emulate the Mario, okay, I emulate the Mario on my goddamn, on my goddamn phone! I like Temple Run, okay, you know what, I shamelessly like Temple Run. Yeah, you know what, sometimes I play Temple Run on dri while I'm driving. Okay, you know what? I, I can break one law. I can break one fucking law! And it's the Temple Run law! T for Temple Run. Temple Run. Temple Run. Hey, what's your high score on Temple Run, Keith? Two, bitch. Hey, bitch. I passed that three weeks ago. God damn it. You're always behind in the office, Keith. Whether it's in your work, whether it's in your job, whether it's in your relationship, you're always behind, Keith. Fulfillment. <laughs> is there any fulfillment in here? <laughs> no, it's just a fucking ashtray. Keith, there's nothing in there. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, Keith, there's nothing in there for you to obtain. There's nothing in there for you to enjoy. There's nothing for you there but your kids. Where's the fulfillment? Where's the fulfillment? Where's the... There's gotta be filling in here somewhere. Come on. Come on. No. There's nothing no, there no, for the sunroof. No, no. No. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. I'm not awake. I'm not awake. I'm not alive. <laughs> this can't be real. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. Nothing has substance. Nothing is real. This isn't real. This isn't real. Nothing You're behind is real. on your payments. You're behind on your mortgage. You're behind on your child support. Nothing is real. You're behind. <laughs> You're behind, Keith. You're behind, but you're still here. Nothing is real. Nothing is real. Nothing is real! I can hit myself, see? I'm not real! Keith, why didn't you get the Lexus? Why didn't you get the Lexus? Everybody else has the Lexus, but, but you had to get the Avalon. Why'd you get the Le why didn't you get the Lexus, man? I died. I died, I'm dead. I'm dead. Is that why you're still you're listening to the Rick CD? You just can't get out of 2012. All right, so, the Toyota Avalon, what is it, ultimately? Have you ever seen the movie The Langoliers? The Toyota Avalon is the movie the Langoliers. Nothing is real. You're in an airport, and there are monsters always on the horizon making a terrible noise, and they're coming for you, and they're gonna eat you, and they're gonna eat everything you care about, and you know it because nothing is left. Nothing that you care about is left. Because beyond your reality is a fog, and there is only the airplane, and the airplane cannot provide escape for you, and you're in an airport, and all you can hear is the monsters in the distance. I hear the monsters, Toyota. I hear them, and I am not afraid. <laughs>